Work and motion problems are quite related and some analysis would be integrating one into the other. The problems in this category are accompanied by some basic knowledge learned in physics. You are watching Mathematics of Engineering. We start with some examples in work problems. Popeye can dig a ditch in four hours. John can dig the same in three hours. How long would it take them to dig it together? If Popeye completes the ditch in four hours, the work he has done can be computed as the project or the outcome over four hours. Let's consider this equation one. Similarly, John completes the ditch in three hours, so the amount of work he did would be solved as 1 is to 3. Consider this equation 2. Substitute both equations to the general equation, so 1 fourth plus 1 third, which is then solved as 7 twelfths. This would show that in 12 hours, they can dig 7 ditches, thus reciprocating the terms 12 all over 7 will give 1.71 hours to finish one ditch by both men. The second example. Person A can do a piece of work alone in 30 days, B in 20 days, and C in 60 days. If they work together, how many days would it take them to finish the work? With the same analysis as previously discussed, the work done by person A will be taken as 1 30th if he completes the work in 30 days. Take this as equation 1. Person B completes the work in 20 days, so the work he is able to do is 1 all over 20. This would be equation 2. Person C, on the other hand, can finish the job in 60 days, where his work is computed as 1 60th. This is equation 3. Placing all these equations into the general equation, we can solve 1 30th plus 1 20th plus 1 60th, which then is solved as 1 10th. Again, the numerator reflects the number of work and the denominator the span of time so for one job, the three of them can finish in 10 days. The third problem. If Polo can do his chores in three-fourths of an hour, and if Miriam and Polo together can do them in half an hour, how long will it take Miriam to do it alone? With the same procedure, work of Polo can be computed as one is to three-fourths of an hour, or that would turn as four-thirds. Take this as equation one. With Miriam and Polo working together, their work can be computed as one is to one-half, taking it as 2 is to 1. Take this as equation 2. Plugging in both equations into the general formula, we get 4 thirds plus x is equal to 2 all over 1, where x is the work done by Miriam. So, by arranging terms, we would get 2 all over 1 less 4 thirds would be equal to 2 thirds. And taking the reciprocal, we can find that Miriam is able to complete the chore in one and a half hours. Let's have motion problems. In this type of problems, you are to recall the basic physics formula relating distance, rate, and time, whereby distance is computed as rate or velocity of an object multiplied by time. Let's work on some applications. Problem number one. If the speed of a racing car is increased by 20 km per hour, it will cover in 7 hours the same distance it can ordinarily cover in 8 hours. What is its ordinary speed? We denote x as the ordinary speed of the racing car and, knowing that distance is rate times time, although there are changes in speed and time, we know that the distance covered will remain the same. Thus, we can equate the distance using the modified speed is equal to the distance traveled in ordinary speed. Time of 7 hours multiplied by the modified speed of 20 more than the ordinary is equal to 8 hours times the ordinary speed x. 
By expanding the terms, we get 7x plus 140 is equal to 8x. And arranging them, we have the answer as x is equal to 140 kilometers per hour. The next example. A plane flew at 20 off 27 of its usual rate in a 3,000 kilometer course due to inclement weather thereby taking an additional one and a half hours to its usual time required for the trip. What is the usual rate of the plane? Let's denote R as the ordinary speed of the plane and T for the time to travel the distance. Focusing on the modified situation, we get 3,000 kilometers is equal to 20 off 27 of the ordinary speed multiplied by the usual time plus 1.5 hours. T is then taken as a function of the rate. And by considering the usual condition, it would be the distance of 3,000 all over the usual rate. Transpose the first term onto the other side, and we arrive at 4,050 all over r is equal to 3,000 all over r plus 1.5. And arrange like terms to have 1,050 all over r is equal to 1.5. So r is computed as 700 kilometers per hour. The third motion problem has a different approach. Car A can travel around a circular track in 120 seconds while car B in 80 seconds. If they started from the same point but travel in opposite direction at the same time, in how many seconds will they meet for the first time? The two cars, although they have different speed, would certainly meet at one point as they need to move in a circular track. In this case, we would have to consider that upon meeting, they are able to complete one job. Thus, using the principle discussed in work problems, we can state 1 of 120 plus 1 of 80, which would give 1 of 48. And taking the reciprocal, the time spent for them to meet is 48 seconds.